Hey guys, breaking awful news here. Pirate Software has a post on Twitter. It says He says, not happening. Removing access from Steam players unless they make a PSN account and link it months after release is absurd. Review changed to negative and I have filed for a refund. So uh, Pirate Software actually plays a crap ton of Helldivers, honestly. And this is a new update that has been posted on their official Steam page. And it says Hell Helldivers 2 is now requiring you to link your PlayStation a PlayStation account in order to play. So do that. Uh, so attention, Hell Divers. This is official post. Um, oh Sony. So wait, did Sony Sony Mate is like the publisher of Hell Divers? Is that it? Hold on. Hell Divers publisher. Oh dear. Yeah, here we go. Developed by Arrowhead Game Studios and published by Sony Computer Entertainment. Oh my. I see. So they have no no choice. Even if even if uh even if Arrowhead Game Studios doesn't want to do this, they have probably no choice in the matter. So here do the technical issues at the launch of Helldivers 2. We were we were a we, we allowed the linking requirements of Steam accounts to a PlayStation Network account to be te temporarily optional. The grace period will now expire. So uh, account linking plays a critical role in protecting our players and upholding the values of safety. <laughs> Doesn't Sony get hacked like all the fucking time? The safety and security provided by on PlayStation and PlayStation Game Studios. That's interesting. This is our main way to protect players from griefing and abuse by enabling the banning of players that engage in that type of behavior. It also allows those players that have been banned the right to appeal. As such, as of May 6th, all new Helldivers on Steam will be required to connect their Steam account to a PlayStation Network account. Current players on Steam will start to see a mandatory login from May 30th that will be requiring a linked Steam and PlayStation Network account by June 4th. We understand that while this may be an inconvenience to some of you, this step will help us continue to build our community that we are all a proud of. I feel like this is going to nuke the community. I feel like, I mean, again, you have Pirate Software here, who's one of like the biggest players of this game. One of the biggest advocates for this game who streams it constantly to like thousands of people like every week. And he's 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 done so. So I mean all right, so we have a uh let's see a reply here by uh Kuma Kobe incorporates third party DRM and protect game guard and requires third party PlayStation Network. So this was already on the page uh, apparently since day one. Um with pirate software replying and it hasn't been enforced in any capacity until months after release and tens of thousands of, of sales to Steam customers, which will not... Th actually, that is the kind of weird thing here, is they're like, if you don't do this, you can't play anymore. So that is like actually... That is kind of a huge deal. And to tell you the truth, I didn't even know this was a thing. Like, I didn't even know you had to, had to do this to play, technically. So this is kind of huge. So he does like check out the other replies. Um yeah, so the game apparently does have crossplay. Um is this game also on Xbox, you guys? And uh uh that's a good point. H Head pass for Peter on YouTube says considering Pirate Software is previously a cybersecurity consultant, him putting a negative review. Now I uh I kind of want to see if he has a video uh commentary about this. Yeah, I, I he's there's no way he doesn't. I feel like he will make a video or a short for it and um I'm looking forward to seeing that. Julio says, why didn't they add this from the beginning? Um, I mean, according to them, it was um, issues. It was a technical launch issue, apparently. Um, anyway. Not earning any points. I, I, I think everyone just skipped over it. Like, they saw the link or whatever account, and everyone was like, nah, I'm good. Um, Crossplay only worked if you linked your account. He's talking about it right now, so shy. Okay. Um... The post is signed Sony. I see. It is. You're right. You're you're 100 right. That is a good point. Is that Sony Interactive Entertainment is the one who signed this post? So, 
I mean, this is a good point. I mean, then the stable cross crossplay file one. But the thing is, is like you know, this isn't about that because then I mean, you could just disable crossplay, but they definitely don't want that. So if, if Sony's the one publishing it, there's no way that they would allow that an option to just like cut out PlayStation Five players for, um, from the game. There's no reason they would do that. I mean, why would they? It's against their interests. Um, but yeah, like disabling disabling um, crossplay, I guess, would be able to like kind of bypass the fact that you would need that. But why would they do that if it's Sony? I don't even have a PlayStation, so why would I need a PSN account? Yeah, this is pretty annoying. The classic bait and switch never ends. Yeah, this is pretty rough. I mean, we'll probably see like a response from them because this is definitely going to be negative. I mean, we can look at probably the um, Hell Divers to Steam. We could probably look at their Steam page right now and see it. Yo, Doc, thanks for the bits. Thank you. Yeah, but I don't know how comfortable I feel about just like streaming someone else's stream like while they're live when it's like not like a like a news thing, you know? Um Okay, here we go. Automatons have taken over the headquarters attention. <laughs> attention all hell divers. The automatons have taken over Sony headquarters. <laughs> Oh my god, this is great. Look at this. So many. So many uh, downvotes here. Yeah, I'm not linking my account to PSN. Hackers access personal data. Uh, April. Yeah, yeah, this is what I mean. There were a lot of issues with Sony over the last 10 years. This is pretty crazy. Look at the review graph. The review graph. Where's that at? I guess here, right? Oh my. Yeah, that's not good. I mean, if you look at it, everyone loved the game, right? They love the game. And then I'm assuming this is where it hit right here. And then you could just see it. And then this is when everyone found out about it, I'm assuming. Because this is actually um, posted, uh, was it 43.6 hours ago? I bought this game on Steam with the intention of playing on Steam. I do not, nor will I ever have a PlayStation account. And the thing is, is like, honestly, I, I really believe this. If this game was not on Steam, I don't think it would be as popular. Those are his hours played. Oh, those are his hours played. I see. Thank you. See, a lot of these are from now. So it's pretty rough. I mean, we'll see. We'll see where this goes. We have no idea. Um... Probably will be a response soon by them. Oh, and this is with like their their brand new war bond coming out as well. Man, this is this is awful. Yeah, two hundred hours played by pirate software, and I mean like me, I have um, see how many hours I have played. Hundred and eighty. I have hundred and eighty hours played, so I have played this a lot as well. But, I mean, I don't know how I feel about it. I'll have to see see where the wind blows, right? I kind of want to see what other people have to say about it and, and like, anything's going to get changed. The thing is, I already have a PlayStation account. So it's kind of, like, not that big a deal for me. But I, I'd imagine for people that don't have one, it's, like, it's such a pain to put people through, right? Anyways, that's it. Peace out, guys.